Hey, Dr. Joe Feinstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in today. Quick MD Minute, absolutely fascinating. Study published in the prestigious journal Neurology coming out of researchers from South Korea. It was a study that looked at the link between women who develop Alzheimer's and um, the amount and their history of pregnancy, how often there was pregnancy, how many kids they have, and what that link was. And so what they did is they looked at 3,500 people. They were women, the average age was 71, and they came from South Korea and Greece. None of them had had hormone replacement therapy. They'd all been excluded. And what they did was they looked at the number of them who had mild cognitive impairment, which is a little bit of memory issues, the number of them that actually had Alzheimer's disease, and they took a step back and they looked at how many times these women had been pregnant. And what they found was that if you had been pregnant five or more times, that's called in medical terminology a grand multip, which means you've had lots of children, it actually was associated with a 70% increased risk of developing Alzheimer's disease and of developing memory issues compared to people who'd never been pregnant and again followed for a long time. They were in their 70s, they'd had the, the babies many, many years ago. The researchers thought about this and one of the ideas they had was that there was an incredible change in hormones during pregnancy and the more times this happened, the more time this might have an effect on the brain. For example, estrogen levels in pregnancy are increased 40 times over baseline. One of the other theories is that one of the risk factors for having blood pressure during pregnancy is if you've had multiple pregnancies. And we do know that blood pressure can inversely risk, it can uh, adversely affect your risk of developing dementia. So my take on this is that this is quite a fascinating and perhaps even shocking study that seems to suggest that people who have had many babies are at increased risk of dementia. What are we going to do about it? We're going to do things that can reduce your risk of dementia, and that would be lifestyle changes, optimizing blood pressure, and seeing what you can do. Um, also looking at perhaps genetic factors like ApoEl uh, alleles, this is genes connected with Alzheimer's disease, and perhaps looking at the whole picture. But if you've had many babies, this is something you should be concerned and actively trying to counteract. Dr. Jeff Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in.